the ever answer had to any these questions. real responsibility I've... where the people that you are thwarting, you're stopping people getting to work in the midst of a cost of living crisis where they are having to make choices whether to heat their homes or feed their kids, are they going to keep a roof over their head? And you are stopping that from happening, never having had any responsibility in your life. It's interesting that you mentioned the cost of living crisis. We know that the cost of living crisis is being quite literally fueled by the fossil fuel industries while their you CEOs are being let off scot free. Bernard Looney, the CEO of BP, said he had you made more money than he knew what to do Zach. with. He's reading off the script. Ordinary you're people reading, are being yeah, absolutely you're trashed a script here. And you're not answering questions. This is what this is what zealots like you do. Can I, can I I'm not a, a zealot. I am a concerned person. I'm a that's, very that's concerned fine. person. Can I ask you a question? Um, when, yeah, I was, sure. when I was 15, uh, I certainly was preoccupied with other things. I just want to know, do you feel like you know enough of this? Just going back to Carol's point, not having, never having had a job or any real responsibilities, do you feel like you know enough about what's actually going on? to feel like you're justified to disrupt public life in I, the way that you're doing? I, I, I think all I need to know is the, the current science which people yes from the IPCC, no. the International it's Energy yes Agency no. are telling us. I think that's what I need to know here and that's why I'm doing these like things. You know that's why I'm... Having never had a job or children or responsibilities. I, I don't need to have had a job to know that the science is incredibly concerning well, here. Help. So David King last year, he was the former chief scientific advisor to the UK government. So we have three to four years to determine the future of humanity. He's the former chief scientific advisor to the UK government. Okay, ben, the IPCC's ben, latest report. Ben, it is Zach, absolutely I've heard scanning. a lot about IPCC, absolutely. Uh, Benjamin, do you want to come in? I yeah. presume you support what Zach's doing. Well, Zach, I think it's an inspiration that you're so engaged at 15. The first political activism I ever did was to oppose a power plant when I was 10 years old. Good Lord. So what I was wondering is, to people at school, the people of your age that you know, how do they feel about this? Are they worried? Are quite a few young people worried about this issue and thinking about it? Yeah, 100%. Lots of young people like myself are, are, are gravely concerned with the climate crisis. And it, it's not just some loopy lefty idea that's been plucked out of the air. It's a genuine, genuinely serious situation that we're currently in.